<laughs> Is that we got one over here? Um, hot tubs. Is there any chance we're going to be able to get them 24 hours again? I, you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to just. Uh, unfortunately, I'm Holland America. No, I, that, that was not a polite way of putting it. No, <laughs> but um, but we. Uh, essentially, the way that this ship is staffed, the people who manage the hot tub have uh, certain work time required, maritime like law requirements for when they must take breaks, and there there simply is not enough staff that is trained in the hot tub procedures on board to keep it open 24 hours. So it is operationally not feasible for any ship of this class on all in America line. Okay, so follow up to that: Have we considered a cruise line that it has more? in common with our demographic, because the way I see it, um, there's official events going on until midnight, things that I've paid for. And the fact that I'd have to skip some of those if I ever wanted to get into a hot tub. <laughs> for many of us who are not, like I work night shift when I'm not on the ship. Sure. And I, the fact that everything kind of shuts down at midnight is not as ideal. And, uh, oh, and, that, and thank you for the comment, and this is, this doesn't just apply to hot tubs, but to a lot of things that we're very much, because uh, personally, I would love, I would personally love to be able to get into a hot tub at four in the morning. Because we haven't been able to get into a hot tub at all this week either. Right, for similar reasons and other things too that we're trying to balance what the ship's capabilities are, what our capabilities are, a lot of the regulations, and you know, and we're sorry that we're not able to deliver everything that we want, but. I know that's not the best answer. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you know, we can't choose a cruise line just because of the hot tub policy. We have to. <laughs> Everything. What else? What else do you wish there was after midnight? Better food. Better, better food. There's no sweets. I mean, cookies after midnight is possible. Yeah, we, we, we can do that. We can probably do that. We can do that. To I'll make you some goddamn cookies at the midnight. <laughs> and also, Colin and America, we were we still with them in 2011 and 2012, um, and we're back with them now. World Caribbean had a few years to learn us and kind of get to know us and what we're doing, and we we were very ambitious in what we were trying to pull off this year. So it's it is the type of thing that we can say, hey, because it is something we've already heard a lot of. But definitely, the survey mentioned it because it's something that we can ask. Hey, this is something that's a priority for us, and who knows, maybe it is possible that they ship is great. It doesn't have nearly as much of the branded Gugas, which is something we've always tried to get away from. I think it's a beautiful ship. And uh, what we do, there is no other charter on Earth, or no other cruise on Earth that does this level and complexity of programming. From a technical and production standpoint, this is like unheard of in this business, and we're, Hall America line works with us to make this possible in a way that other cruise lines do not and have not. And it, it, is, it is a very good fit for Joko Cruise, actually, in that, in that way. Uh, so, like, yeah, unfortunately, you can't, we can't get everything that we want, but we've gotten a lot of really awesome stuff from Hall in America this year, and they are a great company, and we're really happy to work with them. And as, uh, as I said, we now have a year to work with them based off of our experience this week and the feedback we get from you uh, to try and continue to fine tune and fix these sorts of things to the extent we and they can. This is from and, scratch. And it helps, like, in, in, we, we meet with the, um, the ship's officers every day if they were saying how much they, they really like you guys. Like, they can imagine how a typical cruise passenger is, you know, they can be nice people, but not like this, and that goes a long way. So when we ask for things, they know that it's going to be appreciated and that it's going to make you happy, and they get into this industry versus others because it's really a type of show business. They really do want to please us. So when we have things that are reasonable and that they can do uh, in Hall America, it's also being a charter versus being a group, and that's been a big difference. So we can ask for these things, and we trust that if they tell us they can't deliver it, they'll tell us why, and it's always good reason. Yeah, but do, none of this is to is to minimize your comment, and and please keep that keep that feedback coming. And you know, we uh, when we get back on land and we have a big uh, stack of survey results, that's when we sit down and sit through it and and figure out what our priorities are. And, and what we to be clear, we sit down in a hot tub to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At one a.m. Yeah. Very late at night.